So last summer we were visiting quite a remote beach in South Devon at Start Point um, and when we'd walk down the very sort of narrow, very steep, uneven path to the cliff we noticed that um, there had been an accident on the beach below and as we were walking down the we were told that the air ambulance was coming into land so we were asked to wait on so like a rocky outcrop for it to come down I had my two young children with me um, who were aged um, two and five at the time. The two-year-old was on my back in a sling um, and then I was holding my five-year-old's hand. The crew were fantastic, they just got us to wait. Um, I had to shield my five-year-old's eyes from the sand blowing up and also try and protect my two-year-old on my back. Um, luckily he was protected by my head um, from the sand while I was kind of covering my eyes as the helicopter came into land. Um, the sheer skill of the air pilots was absolutely amazing to watch. Um, the tide was quite high when it came in and the beach at Start Point is quite small, um, very limited space. So watching it come in and landing with absolute skill was, was fantastic. Um, you know, they came down, landed, um, the, you know, the, the air pilots were absolutely incredible and obviously they helped the, the poor woman who had, who was, you know, hurt herself um, and then when they took off, the pilots again made sure everyone was well out of the way, um, standing back as they took off. Um, you know, the sheer force of the air was actually kind of physically pushing the waves back from, from breaking on the beach. So you can just tell just how much air disturbance is created by the helicopters taking off. So it's so important to obviously stay back and out of the way.